Hey, what's going on my math party people? Anderson here, your math coach. And if you're looking to learn how to add decimals, you're in the right place. So let's go ahead and get this series kicked off where we're gonna be learning how to go ahead and add, subtract, multiply, divide decimals. And we're gonna be starting off here in this video with addition. So remember, if you're in the course, you're starting here, then up next, get into those worksheets, then get into those speed drills. That way you can go ahead and really increase your speed tackling this through and through. Let's get into it, my math party people. So there's only one real rule aside from what you've already learned in terms of adding decimals. Really, the only rule is this. When you're adding them, so let's say this problem right over here, 43.1 plus 16.6, just make sure that the decimals line up. The decimals line up because you want to make sure you're adding in the same place value. So here I would say 16.6. So remember in the same way that we would go and say, hey, you know, 17 plus eight, we would line it up like this, 17, and we would add the eight there. We wouldn't put the eight here. That wouldn't make sense, right? Because you need to line up the same place values. The seven is in the ones place, the eight is in the ones place, so you line them up in the same way. So that's really exactly what I'm saying here, my math part of people. As long as you stick to that one rule with adding and subtracting decimals, you're fine. Nothing else needed to be done. Just make sure you do things the right way and you're set. So here, six plus one is seven. Keep that decimal exactly where it was. Three plus six is nine, four plus one is five, and you have 59.7, just like that. So I'm gonna take you through a few more examples here, and then from there I expect you to move forward, tackle this like you know how, and then go to the speed drill so you can really test yourself out. So let's go ahead and check, let's check one out where we have to maybe borrow potentially. Okay, here, another complicated one. So we have ourselves over here, 27.4, and we're adding 40 points. Again, make sure those decimals line up. And then we have 7.3. Now, this one might be a little confusing to those who are refreshing here after a very long while we're not doing math. You might be thinking, well, what number belongs there? Well, the thing is, when it comes to decimals, remember my party people, remember that a dollar is the same thing as a dollar like this, right? Yeah. A dollar is the same thing as 0 1.000000000. Like seriously, there are zeros behind those decimals. So if you don't see anything, just put a zero and you're set. So here we go. Zero plus three is three. Four plus seven is 11. Carry that one. Seven plus zero, seven. Carry the one is eight. Then you have two plus four is six. So you have 68.13. There's your answer. And that should be D right there. Booyah. And let's keep it going, my math party people. Let's take a look at subtraction here. We have 48 or 49 or 48.89. Wow. Minus 27.9. So just check it out right over here. 48.89. Subtract and place everything in the same place value. 27 decimal 9. We have a zero right there and we're good. So let's go ahead and subtract now. We have 9 minus 0, which is 9. 8 minus 9, can't do that, so we have to go ahead and borrow. 18 minus 9 is 9. 7 minus 7 is 0. 4 minus 2 is 2. So we have 2099 as the answer there. And that's D. Nice and easy. Let's take a look at another one here, my math party people. We have 53.1 minus 50.85. Okay, just make sure to line everything up. 53.1, you can tack on the 0 there because you notice you have two place values there for decimals. Just put the zero there in the beginning, then minus five zero, line up the decimal place, and then boom, eight five. All right, let's get to work here. So we have zero minus five, can't do that, so let's borrow one. So 10 minus five is five. We can't do zero minus eight, so borrow one again. 10 minus eight, that'll end up being two. Okay, great. Then two minus zero, five minus five is zero. So 2.25 would be our answer here. So again, my math party people, look, it seems complicated, but it's just a different way. It's all this, dealing with more uh, place values. It is no different than four digits minus four digits. You just have decimal places in there. That's it. So here we go, my math party people, let's keep it going. Let's go ahead and check this one out over here. 27.369 plus 99.8. Here we go. 27.369. Ninety nine point eight and notice that we don't have anything there. So we'll just fill it in with those zeros Totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. 
Nothing wrong with that at all. And my last bad part of people, just like this free video that you're watching, I have more free materials for you and there's no excuse for you not to get them. I have a free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every single mistake. And on top of that, I have a free class on Zoom once a week, every single week for two hours. So imagine that. You got more free materials than just this YouTube video right over here. Let's keep pushing forward. Sign up right now and I'll see you in the next class. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and take care of business, my math party people. We have nine plus zero. That's going to end up being nine. Six plus zero is six. Three plus eight is 11. Carry that one. Then one plus seven is eight. Eight plus nine is 17. Carry the one. One plus two is three. Three plus nine is 12. Boom. So we have 127.169. And that would be answer choice D right up there. Nice and easy. And some of the last part of people, again, I really hope you're seeing that when it comes to adding and subtracting decimals, nothing really too, too, too complicated about this. We just have to make sure we remember how to borrow and carry and things like that. And we're fine. Then eventually, once you get fast enough, you can go ahead and apply mental math to this to make things really, really easy. So let's go ahead and keep it going here, my math party people. Let's go ahead and do maybe two or three more examples, and we'll call it a day. So we have 95.8 minus 90.9. So 95.8 minus 90.9. Here we go. 8 minus 9 can't exactly do that, so we'll go ahead and borrow a 1. 18 minus 9 will be 9. Make sure that that decimal place lines up. 4 minus 0, 9 minus 9 is 0, so we have 4.9. Booyah, right there. And if you're thinking about doing this with mental math, my party people, you could just say, hey, 95.8 minus 90, so that's 5.8, 5.8 minus 9, or 5.8 minus 0.9. You could think about it as 58 minus 9 to get 49, then put the decimal back to get 4.9. If you want to do it that way, you could, as long as you remember where those decimals are. So one more example here, and we'll call it my party people. Here we go. Let's take care of one that will get a little tricky, if even. So let's see here. One that might get a slightly tricky. I mean, really, these are all going to be kind of the same, man. Like these, you know, the procedure is really, 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 really similar all the way around. So let's do something as complicated as this. This seems like a pretty nice one to torture ourselves with. So we're going to go ahead and add here. All right. So we have 69.452, then we have 94.749. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of business, my math party people. So over here, what we got going on is two plus nine, and that's gonna go ahead and be 11. Carry the one. One plus five is six, six plus four is 10, carry the one. One plus four is five, five plus seven is 12, carry the one. 1 plus 9 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, carry the 1, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 9 is 16, and so we have 164.201, and our answer is B. So notice, even something that looked as complicated as five decimals or five digits, doesn't matter, doesn't matter, we can still get this done the right way and still have a great time doing it. And so with that seven math part of people, I really hope you're enjoying this so far. I really hope that if this is a refresher for you, that you're really refreshed at this point. And if this is something that you really need to work on, remember, if you're in the course, we've got worksheets, we've got speed drills, we've got more to come. So keep getting in there in the course if you're in there already. Practice, 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 and make sure at the end of the day, you're not thinking about it anymore. Make sure that you got this down all the way through. And so I'm rooting for you. I'll see you in the next video where we're gonna go ahead and now learn how to multiply decimals. I'll see you there. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you wanna raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.